G'day guys, my apologies for uh, not posting a video in such a long time. I've been uh, quite busy putting together this uh, AV switch that I've been talking about for so long, or talked about so long ago, perhaps. Uh, <clears throat> the design is based around uh, two chips. The first uh, is this one here, which is probably can't read that on there. Probably see this one a bit better. The uh, Atmel Atmega 328P, most commonly found in Arduino sets. Um, it's a nice general purpose uh, microcontroller. Uh, it's perfect for what I want to do, which is not just select between inputs, but also display the name of the console you're playing on a little uh, character LCD, which is going to be pretty cool. So um, I've got my uh, good old Raspberry Pi hooked up here, just using the GERT board to, uh, to power it because uh, micro USB port, I don't know, it's playing up. I think it might need to be replaced. Uh, so I'm just powering it through the GPIO pins using the GERT board as a, as a breakout, which is nice and easy. And then over here I've got my test setup. Well, it's actually all over here, but uh, I'll explain this bit first. Uh, so I've got my uh, Atmega chip here. I've got um, an LED just showing the, uh, the status of the digital output on the corner there. A little, uh, little resistor there just to protect the, the uh, LED. I've got the clock crystal there. It's a 16 megahertz crystal. Um, two little ceramic caps there. Just um, They're necessary to, to start the crystal oscillating uh, I think is what they do um, and there's just a little tantalum cap there just to filter the the power going into the uh, Atmega and there's a little resistor there just pulling up the reset pin and uh, there's this wire here coming off the digital pin um, that I'm monitoring with that LED and that wire is coming through to this little guy here this is a Texas Instruments SN74CBT3244 um, octal FET bus switch. Now, if that's uh, pig Latin to you, what you need to know about this device is that there are two enable pins, one on either side, and each of those controls a set of four inputs and four outputs. So when you pull the enable pin on the left down, because uh, they're active low as well four of the pins on the left side are connected to four of the pins on the right side when you pull down the enable pin on the other side four of the pins on this side are connected to four of the pins on that side so you get eight uh, independent uh, connections that you can control using just two pins so at the moment I've just got it hooked up using uh, the left enable pin there that's connected to the digital pin on the uh, Atmega and just some composite video fed by a good old Raspberry Pi and then the output going into my TV I'll just reset Raspberry Pi yep so uh, you can see now that the display is turning off and on so uh, when the LED is on the display is off when the LED is off, the display is on. Let's see if we can uh, get those both in view at the same time. Oh, yep. You can see the uh, this is the reflection of the LED here. She all works. Lovely. So, obviously, in the finished product, we will have more than more than one bus switch there will be 10 and rather than turning them off and on like this there will be a little bit of code to let us cycle through um, a bunch of bus switches that's how the, uh, the AV switch works in a nutshell I'll go into more detail in the next video um, how I'm going to construct it I well, hope you've enjoyed this little update Oh, there's one more thing. Got a new toy today. 
it's a hot air gun plus soldering iron plus power supply um, and uh, yeah I've had a little go of it I've uh, moved a couple of SMD chips there and uh, was pretty straightforward heats up nice and quick and uh, only cost 130 bucks which is not too bad so uh, yeah recommend this one if you're after a uh, after a cheap um, SMD solution uh, so yeah that's uh, that's where I've been last few weeks and um, thanks for watching see you next time